So, we've got the Be Quiet here. And this is uh, obviously Be Quiet's one of their new ones that was mentioned in Combitex. Uh, I've done the 601, um, Silent Base 601, and I didn't even realise I've even done it last week. So, I'll be a link in the description down below. And yeah, I am a little bit like withdrawn because I'm like, did I actually do that case? Or am I just tripping up? But yeah, apparently I did because it's on YouTube and obviously I'm tending to go and look at it. Obviously. Anyway, this is the 801 swinging ahead. And do you know what I like about this case? It didn't have that funny, like, bag over it where you get stack it. Static electricity. That's what I don't like. I don't like static. I sound like I started like a madman. I don't even start, but anyway, it sounded like. I can't. Anyway. So yeah. So we got this. This is the 801 by Be Quiet, and uh, it looks very delicious. And my my word saying delicious means that things look pretty cool. Don't know what this is doing up here, man. What are you doing up there? You're meant to be down here. Somehow this popped up through here. Anyway, I looking at this case, noticed that it's got feet, and the feet are already taken off, so it's got rubber base feet, so it rips anywhere in the world. And what I'm going to do is going to get up and I'm going to take a take you around. The actual case itself. So let's let's go. So as you can see, off on the front of the glass, we've got no thumb screws on the front at all. So that means it's not fun. How 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 do I get into the case? Obviously, you got a board around there as well. But look, I just press the button at the back, and oh, hey presto! What's that about? But before we should continue with this video, I should really put it on its feet. So I'm just gonna literally flip the case on its side and then put the feet on, because it's not meant to look like this, because obviously the filter is right on it. So first off, what you'll notice straight away, on the back of this case, you do have a riser card, so you can literally, no, you don't have a riser card, but you can obviously use a graphics card and have it face to the front of the window. Then they include a 140 uh, mil fan, which is your Pure Wings 2 fan at the back there. Uh, Pure Wings 2, to be precise. Seven expansion slots on the back there, so definitely big enough for dual setup of uh, Crossfire or SLI configuration. We also got four thumb screws on the back, and these are like captive screws, and they are captive screws. So meaning that I should be able to undo these because uh, it's meant to be tallest design, obviously, that's what it means. And then be able to stick the big quiet power supply on the back or any power supply you choose. Looks like they've got some foam dampening as well to make this obviously stick to their name of uh, b and Quiet. And then at the top, we do have these buttons and this is how you do your suicide doors on your case. So this is how I can get the glass panel off and press that button and then that glass just hangs out on the side there and I can press it and don't even need to press it from the front and it all clicks together. And then I can press the back and then this undoes as well. And yeah, it's as simple as that. So let's strip this case right down in one second because I just want to see there's a nice airflow or exhaust for heat from the back there and also there's fins at the top like a sort of Lamborghini sort of style um, and it does have air fins going all the way from the top into this gap so in this little chamber um, and then obviously you can exhaust heat from here and then obviously here from 140 as well and this case also does invent ver inverted design so you can have when I spin this around it's a lot harder now it's got the goddamn feet on there. All right, so let me just take this uh, glass panel off and then we'll come back to that in one second. But yeah, this glass is freaking heavy. So it's slightly tinted a little bit. I'd say about 5% tinted, um, or maybe 10%. And it's all got, looks like air vents. Yeah, it has, it's got air vents. But I don't know where they, oh, they come out from the sides. Okay, so you've got air vents, so it's an air vent chamber, and then it filters out through these holes at the top here. So that's a unique design, but be quiet, because normally it's pretty restrictive with their cases. But yeah, it's got like little hinges there that sit down, it's pretty plasticky, but it's not pretty plastic, it's like hard plastic. But yeah, it's decent, so I'll move this out of the way, because it weighs a freaking ton. All right, so inside the case, there's where your accessories would be. Um, so as you can see it's all dangling and look how they've made this. They've made it 
without even what is this what what have they done here this this is <laughs> this is crazy what have they done here well anyway let me pull this out so this is where you would put your uh, 360 rad on so it's easy access to do water cooling or AIO water cooling we'll take a look at the accessory box in a minute uh, there's got some funky screws as well that looks like it just feeds straight into these uh, aggressive like cog fill um, holes. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, as I was saying, so if I move this stroud, this is the front stroud of where the power supply sits in here so you can have easy access. You can also have a downforce of uh, putting one of the big white fans in there or any fan that you want to, what you choose to. I can obviously pick these up. That's pretty hard, nice and tight, but I can pull these apart and then take this one out as well because then I could obviously put a fat radiator in there as well. Normally I can get this out pretty easy, right there we go, and then that one's out as well. So you can have it so it's pretty breathable, so if you don't like to have a case that's uh, What's the word? Um, you don't like a stroud, you can take the stroud off and just have it like looking so you can see what's going on. Or you can have it with a downforce to blow in hard drives, maybe SSDs, um, and do it like that, or mechanical hard drives. So what you could do is take this bay out, and then you can put this bay up here, or here, or here, or here, or here. Depends on the water cooling solution that you're gonna be doing. If you're gonna do just CP air cooling, you're going to have a lot of space on the side there. These rubber grommets come out as well, and obviously this is Be Quiet's unique design, so obviously they colour code whatever they're doing with the case. Um, someone said that in the comments, can't remember what they said, but they said something about uh, the Be Quiet um, Silent Bay 601. So they said, why well, if this all orange and all that outside with the accent, that looks pretty cool, but it'll be look even more cooler if it had the actual orange accent inside the whole case. So Be Quiet, take note on that because I know you're listening to me on this video and that would be looking quite awesome. It looks like they've come away from the RGB from the other predecessors. Um, they had other cases that had RGBs and all that sort of stuff and yeah, it, it looked okay and just looks like they've just said no. Like, it's nice to see not all cases with RGB anymore because it's just getting a bit tedious. But anyway, this fits extended ATX. Uh, no, it doesn't actually, I thought it did. Okay, it only fits normal size motherboards then. So normal ATX, mini ITX, uh, flex ATX, micro ATX. So that's what you can have in here. You can have two um, mechanical, no, yeah, two mechanical hard drives in there. Um, so it's got a rubber grommet, so it stops it from vibration, all that sort of stuff. You've got an extra, so basically this case comes with one, three 140 Pure Wings 2 fans. And then obviously it's got the slots as well, so you can slot it up and down to make it easy access for the radiator. You can have the radiator access um, at the top, which is over there, so 360 down there, or a 240, or a 280, and a 280 and 240, and a 140 on the back here for exhaust. Um, probably would be also or, uh, um, okay. So what you could do now, you can invert this whole case and then have the um, hard drives over this side, CPU over here, and obviously the motherboard all changed and turned around. It'll look pretty cool. It looks like there's a lot of room down there, so you can easily put the biggest power supply in there um, that you want. It's got a dust filter right at the front, so if I spin this around, everything's a lot harder now that I've got this freaking feet on. So I can put my hand and just put it out and you've got <laughs> a massive uh, filter. So this filter is just nice and easy. You can just run warm water over it and give it a wipe down if it gets any dust and it won't break. So it's kind of just cool. So now I'm gonna put this all right back in the front. I didn't even remember when you're doing this, remember to get it back into the hole. And there it is, it's just slides right back in no problem whatsoever um the front let's get the front off i need to probably pull that out let's see if i can get the front out where is my i can't get my hand on it oh, there we go so you just lift up don't pull lift up and then you can get this awesome amount of thick foam it's like 10 mil thick it is thick as you like so we've got that that's a nice bit of sound dampening, but a bit restricted to the front. But 
it's restricted to the front it's got a little bit of airflow not a lot got a little bit of airflow there and all that sort of stuff but it's still going to be restrictive but it's all about being quiet that's the name of the company dust filter on the front there this is how you get to your fans and everything like that and obviously be able to slide up and down you can even make this case if it's all about the cpu cording you want to blow it over the graphics card you want to blow it over your water cording or whatever you want to do you can ease the fan and then obviously ramp up the rpm speed of the fan and then have it blowing like bringing cold cool air in the front and straight over your components that are in there so i'm gonna i'm just gonna leave this naked like so and then i'm gonna turn it around to the other back now it's starting to get lighter so this would be a bit of a mission i'm doing screws here from that angle i can just press that button here pull the side off and then look at that some massive dampening again these people are not playing i would say this is more for uh, audio now just because of how thick the dampening is on this case. It's ridiculous. Anyway, as you can see, you've got fan controllers and stuff like that on the back there to make it easy and accessible. You've also got where you can put your uh, SSDs. So you can put in uh, one SS uh, well, two SSDs here, and this is also a retention bracket, so you can just unscrew it with uh, your thumb and then put it off. Then you've got another SSD here. So all in all, we could put like five SSDs, but be quite a known to be able to put loads of um, SSDs and loads of uh, mechanical hard drives because of these little spaces here. And as I said before, if you're not, if you use this water cooling, you can route the cables round to make it nice cable management. We've got a good like three centimeters of like width of. Um, uh, cable management so no problem whatsoever and I like what they've done here they've given us flat USB 3 cables especially pretty good for the new upcoming motherboards mm. uh, I'm definitely proud of that still got spaghetti junction HD and HD audio but this is nicely cably done cably done what's that this is nicely um, wrapped so this is a set of cable for power and then obviously USB 2 which has got spaghetti junction cables and then you've got your minus and plus LED and then the HDD LED and then your power switch and the reset switch as normal nice flat cables easy to route nice and long decent so everything is basically um, thumb screw active so I can literally undo these oh, thumb screw active I like that that's the new word right there so I put it out, it's got a nice little cut out so it makes it easy to get out. So that's where you can put your mechanical hard drives in. And then obviously through any of these slots is where you can put this accessory and then remove it from the bottom and have more room for the power supply. Also at the bottom of the power supply, it's starting to get nice and light now. You can hold it up now and everything. All right, so underneath there you've got your uh, vibration pads as well for your power supply. A little standoff as well. Gives it a little bit more room to breathe with your power supply. Uh, lately I've been using another power supply and it was like, uh, it's a little bit low down in the case. And I thought to myself, mm, most power supplies that I've been using, um, I switch off. I only use when you're really ramping it or overclocking it or really going nuts at it. This uh, power supply would be a nice power supply to test into this case to see how well it does. But I haven't got everything already yet, so there's no point with that. Anyway, this also comes off the top as well, so you can slide it off and you can uh, get to the top, no problem. This also has nice thick dampening as well. They've literally thought of everything on this case for, <laughs> for to making it very quiet. It's a bit of a finger magnet, but we don't care because we can easily wipe it off. So we've got a dip switch as well. So it's got auto one, two, three for your fan. So you can have it automatic. So when it gets hot, it will just automatically tone itself down. And you can also change that all in the bus as well. And then we've got a USB two, microphone jack, headphone jack, powerful, um, powerful button, <laughs> a power button. And it feels very nice and clicky. And then obviously hard uh, disk activity light and USB freeze at the top there, two of them. So that's not too bad. Anyway. This case is lovely. It's not too bad whatsoever. But let's talk about more of my thoughts in just a moment when I put it all back together again.
Jersey Street Need to find some air in the summer heat So how about some music Like a whisper from the sea And a little soul, and a little soul Comes in the wind. Time. Cable management, room, but no need because we've got Velcro in the bag. It's like these are like little gifts that uh, you know, like when you buy something like perfume or aftershave or something like that, and they give you a gift goodie bag. This is what Be Quiet's like. So, how many of these straps they give you? It looks like they give you six Be Quiet Velcro straps, which is awesome. I love these, these are cool. It's nice to see manufacturers always choosing that stuff. Uh, they give you a plethora of screws for every single scenario out there and they also give you a screw as well for your standoff so that will be able to be this is a standoff to, um, standoff uh, screw obviously so that means if you've got standoffs and you want to use a micro ATX or mini ITX whatever you could put it in this case then use the stand okay Anyway, got some screws there, loads of them. We've got more screws. Uh, these are for the hard drives, and you can put a lot of hard drives in Be Quiet stuff, as you should know. And they also include another bracket with obviously the orange grommets as well, which is a nice touch to obviously have an accessory box. It looks like there's another one in there as well. So there's two, and another one, three. Okay, so you can put three in there, one, two, three, and then you've got two spaces left, and you've got one at the bottom. So you can put in one mechanical dryer, two mechanical dryer, three mechanical dryer, four mechanical dryer, excellent. Anyway, that is the accessory box, there's nothing else in there, but thank you Be Quiet for uh, obviously uh, adding all these extras in, and it's nice to have a little box that you can put away, because some people ain't gonna use all mechanical hard dryers, but it's nice to be a nice thought about it. Anyway, let's talk about, do I like this case? Um, the case is okay, but I don't really personally like it. The reason I don't like it, I don't like the fact that I had to put the feet on, it was a bit of a mission. The doors are a bit of a mission to put on as well, but once they're on, they're on and they're on pretty sturdy, so that's a good thing. It looks very restricted at the front, but I do love the fact that it comes with two filters, one on the front and one um, at the bottom as well, that goes all the way through. So even if you've got a fan or 140 or 120 blown straight onto mechanical hard drives in the front there, and the power supply and stuff, it's got a dust filter that takes care of everything, so that's food for thought. But I think this case is going to be very restrictive with airflow through here, even though it has got little chamber gaps as well for airflow, but I don't think it's enough. Um, it's nice to have um, three 140mm fans, but at 200, well, was it 200 something pound, or was it just under 200 pound? It only comes with uh, Pure Wings 2 fans, which are okay, because I've tested them before, standalone fans, and they are pretty decent. Um, but it's 2018, and obviously seeing Pure Wings 3, and... Like, obviously, those fans are slightly better for RPM speeds, and they're just better overall, anyway. Um, it's got a nice bit of space, though, for the PSU. For the, um, if you've got a big PSU and you want to do overclocking, it's good. But if you're going to do overclocking, then in this case might not be for you, because, obviously... Um, Having it overclocked in the case is pretty restrictive, makes it run hotter, even though it's got decent fans. But this case, I would definitely direct and recommend more like 9 out of 10 to musicians, people who are doing music and stuff like that. They don't really care about RGBs as much, just want something that's clean and clear and you can stick it over in the corner and let it do its job. It's also easy to manage with the dust filters as well, so any build up of dust, it can be easily done. The only thing is though, I do recommend this for enthusiasts as well that's got a lot of time on their hands to make it inverted or uninverted as well. But I think on the front there, to have a PCI riser card, that is a PCI riser cable that's not included in the Be Quiet uh, like case is a bit of a bullwake to go and obviously searching and getting one of them as well. But also the fan depends on like how the fans are going to blow on like the graphics cards. Um, obviously these graphics cards are quite big and heavy these days, but if you're going to put a smaller graphics card in there, it won't be so bad, but if it's going to be blowing at the top and at the back, it's okay, but if it's going to blow at the front, it's going to be restricted as well because the glass and the way how close it is to the glass as well. I like the retention bracket um, hole, which is on most 
cases these days. But I like the fact that they utilise it and put SSD uh, bracket on there as well, so it just closes it off, makes it nicer, and it's got a hell of a lot of cable management. 10 out of 10 for cable management, always a big quiet. One thing I really think they should definitely change is these um, plastic um, pullouts. So this is where the mechanical hard drives go. They're easily, easily, easily mistaken for the strength that they could hold. They do break pretty easily. So I definitely think Be Quiet should definitely get rid of all of them and change it to something else. It's very nice that you can cable route it through the back, but it's also very nice that it blocks and caps it off. Um, you can't see the cables at the back. So it makes it very neat and tidy. But I just don't like it because it's it will break pretty easily. And I'm not even lying. If you've got it, I've all broke and quite a few of them it breaks really easily um, I love the Stroud but sometimes the Stroud can be restricting but it looks nice because it's in a different chamber and it's got plenty of air to breathe at the bottom it looks like and the orange grommets and stuff it looks pretty nice but other than that this case is a uh, pretty standard um, it is very 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 just just straightforward you know Oy! It is heavy though, it really is heavy uh, case. But, and this has got nothing in it at the moment. But what I'm trying to say to you is that, uh, I'm gonna put it back over here quickly. Oh, it's quite heavy. Whoa, without dropping it off the table. There we go. So the feet are a little bit wider than normal. Um, yeah, so I would recommend this to musicians and enthusiasts. They've got time on their hands to obviously invert the motherboard and change everything around and stuff. You can do water cooling in there as well. It will be okay. But I just think it's going to be slightly restrictive. The accents are okay. It could be a little bit more brighter and stuff like that. But it looks a bit more reserved. It looks like we're standing back a little bit. But I think they should work on airflow and obviously those brackets for um, the uh, mechanical hard drives and the doors as well the doors are okay they're just like a bit f they're not flimsy at all they're really heavy and solid but it's just like when you think they're in a slot they're not and they're not closing back properly and that annoys me because it should be straightforward building computers is a mission as it is but to have like a really nice experience of building a computer you've got to have a computer case that is easy uh, form factor so you can use any sort of motherboard any hard drives or SSDs uh, NVMEs and all this sort of stuff CPA coolers at a decent size graphics cards and just put it all together and it's just nice it's a nice experience in this I think this will be an easy experience up to a certain point but then it won't so that's why I'm half recommending it to like normal people and also 100% recommending it for musicians because it's got the sound dampening. They they went all out with the sound dampening. It's ridiculous. So this is going to be a very silent case, and especially with their fans anyway. Even if you change and swap the, your fans into there and they're loud, they're, it's not going to be loud in that case. It's really heavy duty. Like it's sturdy to the table. So it means that it's just going to be less vibrations. They really have thought about that, but they haven't thought about anything else. Um, it'll be nice to see a little bit more of a design structure in place, uh, slightly different. It does look like the 601 and it does look like the old school 800, I think it is, from back in the day. But cases that I would use at the Be Quiet range is definitely the 900, even though that is such a ball ache. It's got millions of screws. This has got half the uh, millions of screws, so 500,000 screws. But it still is um, a nice case. The Revision 2 is slightly better with obviously the Stroud. They've made it for people who like Strouds, made it for people who don't like Strouds. But the 700 is the case that I would go to. I wouldn't go to this one. I would go to 700 always because I just think it's a better case than this one. Um, and also it's got RGB, but not it, not too much in your face, RGB, just enough. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up because it's done. Anyway, subscribe, share, like, flavor me on... I don't know why I said favor me on um, Twitter. Um, anyway, I'm only joking. Like, it's just basically, go over, find my Twitter handle. I'll leave it in the link description down below. And I'm feeling I'm going to start using that. Ask me some questions over there. What you think about certain things about computers. Like, uh, would you buy this case? I asked you the question. Now you can leave them in the comments down below as well as being on Twitter. And if you want to get in contact with me and ask me some other questions, then go ahead. Anyway, I am Roger and I am out. See you later. Love your faces.